We are um, celebrating in a sense. We know that we're connected with McKinsey School District and Sandy M. Cannon School District uh, from the September 2020 fires. And so we had students create a Manzanita uh, sculpture and we wanted to deliver it to our friends in those districts knowing that we went through similar trauma and tragedy that day and it's a sign of rebirth and recovery and we're really excited to present this to the student body today. Yeah, summer school project last year and we, it, it started with, we would love to kind of commemorate the fire that swept through the Greenway in our towns uh, in September of 2020. And then it started to get bigger and bigger and bigger and say, why don't we uh, put one of these at each of our schools? Then it started to say, hey, can we make some others to deliver to our friends that went through similar tragedy, tragedy that month? And it just kind of turned into uh, something that was fun. Welding was fun for the kids. All of these are fire survivors that lost their homes in a matter of hours overnight. And they um, really worked hard in a matter of just a few weeks to create 12 different sculptures uh, of these Manzanita uh, branches and trees and leaves. And there's some detail to that too. So um, it was just an exciting project that kind of turned and morphed into something bigger. And, and we're really excited to be here today to share. We're gonna to head to Sandy M. Canyon School District, uh, another district that was decimated and, and really lost a, um, you know, a lot of their uh, family dwellings overnight and, and understand that they're going through some challenging times with uh, kind of bringing students and families back. We were in a housing crisis before this happened and it's just uh, compounded that. And so um, this is just our gesture. We know and understand what our families are going through and our districts are going through. So we're, we're happy to share and hopefully this lives uh, for a long time in their districts. Still pretty raw. I mean, as we drove up the the canyon and up the highway, it was, you know, it was pretty emotional for all of us. And and just the healing power of art with, with really getting down to, uh, you know, sculpting and creating something that means so much for so many. Um, and, um, you know, there was other art projects as well in our summer school. So it's just amazing. It's, it's um, you know, there we had so much support in the days after um, our fire and, and the fires. Um, and, you know, our students witnessed that. They understood what it means uh, to really be a community that supports each other. So when this came about, and we know other districts are suffering through some, uh, you know, same trauma and, and knowing the healing process, uh, you know, takes time. It, it, just, it just makes me proud as a superintendent that our kids are, you know, willing to do that and put so much time into, it ended up being a bigger project than we thought, but there was extra time um, you know, Rich, Rick Stevens was an amazing teacher to these kids. Some of them have never welded before in their lives. Um, and so to really put that much into it and know that it's for kind of a greater community, not just their own, but in our state, it, it makes me proud as a superintendent.